Yeah. Yeah, the mixing codes. Mixing codes, yeah. Hey everybody. Hey. It's us. It's us again, rat girl. <laughs> and Mr. Concrete Concrete, imagine that we see you on the internet. Ooh. Maybe you do. What's happening today? Showdown about color. You know what I realized on the last showdown we did is you were trying to mix six colors. I was trying to mix six colors with these awesome pigments. And it, and it, it got chaotic a little. It, yeah, you know what? Six colors at once. If you're working with a friend, and maybe that's the theme of the video, what about working with a friend? You yeah. could do this with a friend and you both mix three colors. And then you share. That's half the amount of colors. Yeah. Should we, should we start? Yeah, we should start. Oof. No, it's a good idea. Most people do do this with their friends. I'd like to think yeah. so. It's a fun activity to yeah. do with someone. Materia gris. Matière. Matière. Gris. Gris. There you go. I say gris the S because there's an E on the end. Mm. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. En français. En français. Okay, here we go. We've got these. We've got yogurt, cottage cheese, sour cream. Not sponsored. We hold on to these because they are useful for mixing. Yeah, and we clean them well. We use yeah. them for a while. Well, let's get scooping. Let's get scooping. So we want enough yeah. to do one of these each, hmm. which is a bit of concrete. That's so probably like. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot for this much of each color. I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? I like that. This is it. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like this? Yeah. Cool. We're gonna mix colors. A secret. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're not telling each other? Ooh. Well, we're, we're just gonna do it. What if we match? It's okay. Well. I don't think we will. I think the stars align. We know each other a bit to know. You might <laughs> be able, I, I don't, you can guess, but we should have. I don't think we'll, I, I think it would be very difficult to do an exact match. As soon as you said color, I already chose three. Like I there know. was no debate in my mind. Oh, son yeah. of a gun. Yeah, we're uh, we should have brought a starting little, to get there, right? Eh? scoop. It's working. We're to the bottom. You know what we can use to scoop? We got these uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. <laughs> we... More cheese! I'll take a bag of chips over ice cream I'm any a, day. Wild animal. I'm put the lid on. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna put pigment in first and then water or mix? Pigment in first. Pigment first? Okay, let's get crazy. But try, don't look at my, we're, I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna look, look away. I'm not gonna look. It's not gonna change anything, but. I'm gonna confuse you and put white in all of them first. I'm putting white in one of them for sure. <laughs> as crazy as it might sound, that's one of the things that we require from our concrete batching. Yeah. Series of requirements of testing. Every time we get a batch made, there's a bunch of testing that goes through. And one of the things that we test for is color consistency. The color's off, even a little bit, uh, it's gonna throw off all of our colors. Yeah, the whole scheme of it. Yeah. Yeah, the mixing codes. Mixing codes, yeah. Yeah. We have a few on the website. Yeah, we do, yeah. Well, we could update them too. I mean, it would be cool if some of you let us know what colors you think are missing. I know we have oh. a lot of colors there, but I'm... if you think of something, let us know. I like that as a, that's a good, that's a good call to action. Purple, dark colors, and can we do it? One of my colors is gonna be purple. Yeah? Our colors are gonna be earthy by nature. Yeah, lavenders tend to look a little gray-ish. They're definitely mm -hmm. lavender -y. I love pastels, so nothing wrong. The era of neon is gone in my mind. I already went a little bit too wet. <laughs> Excuse the cough. Let's show them. Yeah, I blew it. I blew it, everyone. It's melted pistachio ice cream. Is it pistachio or pistachio? I swear nobody says the same thing. Wait, have you heard someone say pistachio? Yeah, Italians. Oh, uh, okay. So, I don't even know, is that normal? I it might be. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't presume to guess what proper pronunciation. I don't even know where pistachios come from. See, yeah. So no, I'm not Italian. Uh, <laughs> I'm not Italian. If you guys didn't know, I, I just glared into Mr. Concrete Concrete's face and went, what? You're like, what the hell? What the hell, dude? What the hell? Ugh, I just wish um, they weren't always sold out, like pistachio ice cream, like um, that brand we love, Coda Cook. I never uh, see it at the groceries. It's always gone. I think it's Kawada Cook. Coda Cook? Kawada Cook. Kawada Cook. Kawada Cook. Uh, whatever. <laughs> the, yeah, I, you know, that's one of those words. 
There's some words that I want to say in a way that just sound nice to me, and it might not be the proper kind of pronunciation. Mm. So like, if you're supposed to say pistachio, I do not say that, and I don't think I could be convinced to say it. You know what I feel? Jif and gif. Well, this one. That's another one. No, this one. This that's jif. Well, yeah, it's jif, and and if somebody says gif, I will be so stubborn that I will not say it, and not what I. Yeah, no, that one's. You that's can a be word. Stubborn about. Yeah, I'm being stubborn about that one. But I mean, a word that's similar that has a pronunciation I really don't like, even though I'm pretty sure it's the proper pronunciation, is niche. Niche? Yeah, like a, a mark, like in a market, if you have a carved out section that's just for you and it's very unique, it's a niche in the market. Niche! That's what I say, but I think that's the en français pushing in. No, I say niche and everybody understands. Nobody's ever, well, so maybe I'm wrong? I I say niche as well, but I think I might be wrong. I, th I, don't, think, I don't think that's the generally accepted pronunciation. Can someone tell us if it's a niche or niche? Is it a French thing? So here's another one that I, this one drives me up the wall and I got in a big argument with one of my, a good friend. Uh, uh, the panier. You know the basket on your bike? Panier? Or like the rack on yeah, your bike? Yeah, how else are you? Panier? You do not want to know how Americans pronounce panier. Pa panier. What the heck? Panier. Sounds and like... I, I've even found like, like, big videos, people debating it and someone going through it. So pannier, I guess in the biking community, community is an accepted pronunciation because it's an anglicized word. It's an anglicized French word. So it got anglicized in England from France and then that carried over into the US and Canada. And so now you get like, depending on what your background is, I'm never saying pannier. Just doesn't sound right. Doesn't sound right, but but it's a it's an accepted pronunciation. But that's one where there's not one that's right and one that's wrong. It's one that people debate about. Did you do purple? Ha <laughs> ha. No, I'm going for a baby blue. It's not purple. Baby blue. It's a baby blue. But interesting. Our I'm greens sure. do look similar. There's, mine's like a light version. Yeah, it's so dark. it's gonna look nice together. It's yeah. gonna ombre. Yes. Okay, there's another one. Um, you say ombre, and I say amber. But amber is right? like for me, it sounds like you're saying amber wrong. Amber, <laughs> ombre. There's aluminum. An Australian friend, he pronounced pronounced it aluminium. Yes, I think and, Americans say it like that too. And though. I heard him say it, and I'm like, oh, actually, that one I maybe don't mind. That one I might take. But I might a, take over. But me agreeing, I have to say it in a very high voice. If someone says something in a high voice, does that mean they agree with you or they're skeptical and it, just trying to like... It means they're skeptical as hell. They're like, oh, I don't know about it when they yeah. say that. As your voice gets higher... They're that, thinking about their comeback. That's like the skepticism rising. It's a way to stall in a conversation. Too. You're, you're buying time. Are you buying time singing. for me because I'm behind? Yeah, you are uh, behind, but you're good. What, uh... I'm ready. What'd you do this weekend? I went to jazz festival. I saw some free music. I had some high school friends perform on the stage. So that was pretty cool. Oh, jazz flute? Yeah. Saw yeah. a lot of saw a lot of moms, like friends' moms. Friends moms. I felt old. Just grooving. <laughs> Just grooving. Soft grooving. Supporting the their jazz. kids. Yeah, I was like, that's awesome. I mean, if none of you know, I mean, most cities have a jazz festival. Ours is free in Montreal. I don't know about other cities, and uh, it's all ages. People, people Going of all sorts. So my purple's not quite there. I'm going a little bit more white. I'm going a little bit of blue. Purple's a tricky one because red and blue actually don't like mixing. No, nope, they hate it. We're getting a suspension. You're suspending colored particles within a base material. The challenge though, is that red and blue have dramatically different uh, weights by volume. Their weight is quite different. One of them tries to come out of suspension mm -hmm. and the other one tries to stay in suspension. I actually kind of like the purple I got going on. I think I like this too. Yeah. I mean, just last week I asked you about purple. It is a color I... Purples are fun. Really, well, what's your favorite color? I mean, my whole life... Pur purple might be my favorite color. Is it? Yeah. My whole life it was yellow and I bought a motorcycle. I bought a motorcycle like three months ago. Okay. And I've been trying to think about painting it. And the only color that I want it is purple. And I'm like, I've never liked purple before. I like your colors we got going. So. 
We didn't consult each other. Let's have a look. Are we okay. complimentary? What do we got? So what do we have here? This is like a... Teal? Uh, I would say it's like a... Kind of like a spruce. A spruce green. Yeah, like it's like, it's a dark green, yeah. but there is blue content in it. No, that's so gorgeous. So it, it shows a bit blue. Yeah. Uh, this okay. is just a minty... Minty, yeah. Creme de menthe. <laughs> Creme de menthe. This one we know. Perps. Yeah. This is the one I'm probably the most excited about. Yeah. What do you got? Well, I was going for a darker pink, kind of like a strawberry sorbet. That actually looks like a super saturated version of uh, that cherry sour color that we make. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does. But, but brighter, mm -hmm. I like it. And then uh, a baby green. When I think of this green, I just think of like, just a child's bedroom, <laughs> a soft green, something easy for the eyes. Oh, man. And then we've got the classic baby blue, the cloudy. I like when it looks a little gray, but you yeah. can tell it's blue. Oh yeah. And if you watch me mix it, I barely put any blue pigment in here. And I actually put more white than blue. So, now we get to do, we got bigger molds this time. Yeah. Last time we did a head-to-head, -head, we had little molds. Bigger ones, we can do something yeah. maybe awesome, more awesome. Yeah, we had so much fun with the little ones, so more right. potential. Here we go. Okay. I don't know what I I'm I, just gonna I'm just gonna go crazy and like make a, a buffet in my in my mold kinda like I'm gonna go back to my trying to make a couple here's what I'm gonna do. Yeah? I'm gonna make little batches. We'll do it differently for sure. I'm gonna make these little batches and I'm gonna rip and tear them apart and make like Oops. kinda like that marbling I did before. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try to do that again. Yeah. I'm just so. I like that we do things differently too. It's a good way to test. Yeah. But I like that we get to share these colors. Yeah. And I had a little bit of a concern, minor, minor, that our colors were gonna clash or be weird. I don't mm -hmm. think that's no, the case I'm at all. No, I'm actually getting a nice little harmony here. Ooh, I like your technique also. I just like seeing, I like this one. This is like an olive. It looked like an olive until, yeah. I, until I put the blue on it. It was like an olive with a little pimento. Mm. This actually, this might be my favorite color out of all of them right now. The foresty. Yeah, I really dig it. I do too. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to it. So if you're watching my end of the screen, I'm really just taking turns, dumping it in and okay. vibrating. Now I'm gonna... Throw that up there. Let me get these out of the way-ish. And now what I'm doing is I'm kind of breaking some of my stacks in half and throwing them back on top of each other so that I get a nice. bit of like a swirl. Swirl going. And now I'm gonna push them all together. Oh boy. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. No? Well, there's no go. right or wrong. Here we go. I'll just stack it in there. Oh, Thanks. you're gonna catch up. Like, look at all that crazy color I got going. <laughs> now, what I'm gonna try to do now is be kind of gentle with my vibration because the more we vibrate, obviously we need to vibrate to get air out of here. Yeah. But on the flip side, the more we vibrate these things, the more oh, it's, gonna, it's gonna like, yeah, our, our, Fully our patterning is gonna get less and less sharp. Yeah. We're doing great. Yeah. Jazz Fest. Jazz Fest. Uh, it's still going on, so maybe after work or tomorrow. We walked through Jazz Fest briefly mm -hmm. on, uh, on the way to get some Vietnamese subs. Oh, yeah. And then uh, Sunday we went to the outdoor pool. Outdoor pool. Outdoor da, pool. Da, da, da. I love the outdoor there's, pool. There's either you hate it or you love it. There's definitely a specific. There are some. There's lots of different variety of people at the outdoor pool, but I would say there is also a general, the general categories of people that you see at the outdoor pool always. The one thing, yeah, the outdoor pool is great. Yeah. I love it. I love. What do you go to do though? Do you sauce <laughs> and dip or do you tan and chill? I like getting hot, like laying out on the deck. Mm -hmm. And like we went to Laurier pool uh, in the park 
which is free. All the pools are free yeah, in Montreal. Most of them that's are awesome. Free, yeah. Not not anywhere else. That's just Montreal. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Um, and we lay out. I like laying out on the deck, getting hot, and then jumping in. Ooh, I like your. Yeah, I, I like just made. Did you see how I was making yeah, a little I drawing? Saw. I was adding little. I'm think, gonna do that. Hey, copycat. Yeah. I, I kind of always like to do this because I try to get it super even so I don't sand. And then you just got a yeah, nice. Yeah, you don't want to. Little mosaic. So I like doing that. Um, obviously, if you're at the outdoor pool, you go there to watch people too. You people it, watch? How yeah. dare you? At the outdoor pool. Yeah, oh, I do the same thing. Hilarious. <laughs> Although I do that at the park. You don't need a body of water to no. people but, stare. Uh, the fun part about doing it at the pool is you get to people see people in their bathing suits, uh, which is a little treat. <laughs> Not in a creepy way. <laughs> that sounded creepy. I know. <laughs> but but let's be all honest. Let's do some hicks. We're all doing it. We're all doing it. We're all we're all doing we're it. We're all looking. Nobody's lying here. Why well, spend a lot? I used to spend a lot more. I've had a bit of a harder time over COVID because lots of swimming has not been happening. But because I swim a decent amount, um, I see, uh, like when I say seeing people in the bathing suit, I mean like mean? Man, men. Men, oh yeah, like, well. Especially old men bodies are amazing. Dad bods? Uh, dad bods are kind of vanilla. I like when they get older. <laughs> and they get, bodies get more extreme as they get older. And it's like it normalizes it, right? There's all sorts of bodies. I mean, I guess it's like body positivity too. I'm done. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I love that an old, like, I, I expect if I'm at the pool, I'm going to see an old man in a Speedo. Like, that is an expectation. Oh, yeah. That, like, old men wear Speedos. And, yeah, I do like that they're just whatever. Just, just so whatever. Just Think I'm, of it. They've lived their whole lives. You don't know. I mean, they might have had an epic six pack and rocked that Speedo. I love that confidence, though. Just, yeah, same. Yeah, there was some funnies. There was one man. There was one man who had the most amazing body hair where it was just his whole body had an even distribution of hair. Like it had no pattern to it. It was just, just, just like, just a completely even like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and not like full thick, pretty thick, but just very uniform. Yeah. Like too uniform. I'm like, how is this a thing? I'm getting in on this. Yeah, no, I, I like the way that- I don't know if I was allowed to, but- No, of course you're I allowed am. to. Look, here I am look now. Us. And it's kind of entertaining for them to see how we're just, Simultaneously. Freestyling this stuff in there. This. Yeah. But yeah, frick. Body hair. Well, he must be warm in the winter. I think so. I don't think we had enough for this guy here. Nah, that was my bad. Okay. You can let it go thin. Yeah. There's no yeah. reason to, we don't want to overfill any of these. Don't want to overfill molds. Well. They won't level yeah, well. It's too late. We'll just waste no, it. No, no, it's fine. Let it go, let it go flat. Let's see how thin it gets. Yeah. Lots of taps. Noise. Hey. Hey, we did it. We did it. That one felt nice and easy. We're gonna wash this stuff up. How do you wash this stuff? Ooh, uh, if you got thick, you know what? We got enough concrete. Maybe. Yeah, we do. If you have thick concrete like this, how do you wash? The thick stuff, scrape it. Yeah, you don't, don't want this. In the sink. Do not put any of this down the sink. You'll have to drain it. Scrape it. No, drain it won't clear concrete. No, it won't, but like if you even let a little bit in, like you're already in for a little. So mission. scrape as much stuff out as you can. Rinse your buckets. The rinse water, put it into a container, put it in a bucket, put it in something. Let it just sit. Let it sit for like a day. Everything yeah. that's solid will sediment out. You can pour off all your water. The sediment will just dry. Throw the sediment in the garbage. Ooh. But yeah. but let do not wash the stuff down your sink. It would be so bad. I repeat. Do yeah. not. You will make a costly, costly mistake. Oh man, we're at 24 minutes. Oh goodness. Goodness gracious. Okay. Okay. See Ever you. <laughs> you say it. See you later. You know the deal. Bonjour. Hi everyone. We're back. Yeah, it has been four hours. Four hours. These are pretty, uh, pretty easy going molds. So we should have 
Yeah, I like what you did with the bottom. <laughs> Mine not as great. No, it looks Messy. cool. Yeah, mine's like a scary. It looks like, like a, fish. I like see. I ghost. see a face. Wait, I it's see a It's a ghost face. fish. I see someone crying. Blood. Yeah. Okay, where do we start? Do we want to start? Should we start with the tiles? Maybe we should start. With, um. Because these are kind of the main event. Those are the main event. So maybe we start with the tiles. Fun. Okay. Do well, it. It's really easy. It's look, the look best mold. We make the best molds. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. That's it nice. is a sneak peek of uh, the big ones. Kind of. Oh, it's so easy to. Oh, Ooh, I like that. I like that nice big color block. I like your spruce green. Yeah, that looks cool. These must be better. These had. These two, I think, are nice. Ooh, what? I wasn't expecting. Surprise. That. Surprise. And. Oh, that's okay. the best one. Yeah, that's the best one. Oh, those kind of go together. How do we feel? These two are nice. Those two? Yeah. Yeah, something funky happened here. Well, sweet. Okay. Well, that's a start. But I have a feeling the really the good stuff are here. Is here. Yeah. Let's. Uh, we can probably just do this at the same time. Yeah, this mold's also pretty easy. Yeah. This is a mold. This is kind of like the small cactus planter, whatever you want to plant in it. But it's a. Uh, these one. The two that we're working with right now are old. Oh yeah. Like very old. Like like. Well into the double digits of castings. These are our, yeah. these are original test molds, so they've been, they've been through the while. through the ringer, and still pretty good. There's a little bit of breakdown. Ooh, I think I, I think I did okay. It's okay to use your chest sometimes. I'm using my chest to uh, help bring it out. Wow, these are great. So we do see the difference. So we didn't pour the same. You can you can tell, you can tell. So you dropped in. Chunks of color? Yeah, like little bits and, ooh. I like, I like that. that. Little bits and uh, you made it marble more. Yeah, I laid mine out and tore it apart and kind of stacked it. Yeah, different effects. So you get a little bit more, you get heavier, bigger blocks of color. Yeah. And I get more uh, blending, bleeding. The purple's cooler in yours though, definitely. Yeah, the purple, I guess we could have put a little bit more blue into it. It's kind of like a raspberry, Yeah, it what is, do you call yeah. that? I don't know. It's purple-esque. Purple-esque. And your spruce green Turn changed purple. color Turn here. Purple. Turn because purple. I think here... because it was adjacent, I think it because you was adjacent to this other purple. Yeah. And they kind of like teamed up. But I these are cool. I like the bottom more. I wish the whole thing was like this. If yeah. you kind of wet polish that down, I think both these bottoms would look very cool. Yeah? Sick. Uh, well? Well, that's it, everyone. Petit bol. And, and a tile. Some tiles, yeah. You know, let us know in the comments if you want to see specific colors, if you want to get color codes for things, if you'd like us to try, maybe the next video we do is a Will It Concrete again? Should yeah, we do a Will yeah, It Concrete? Yeah, I like those. Yeah, those yeah. Those. Then we're gonna have to find something cool to do. Yeah, what's in season? What's something that What's in season? season? Cherry pits. Strawberries. <laughs> oh, I mean like a, fruit's challenging because it's acidic. Yeah, well, uh, corn's gonna be in season soon. Corn? Corn. Not popcorn, just corn. Just corn on the just cob, on cut the it cob. down and zang it in there. Okay, that could be fun. <laughs> we can try if that. anyone has suggestions for uh, Will It Concretes, tell us. Tell us. We're and down, we'll, right? We'll then. try to make it. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thank you for those likes and subscribes. I know the last video I said whatever on likes and subscribes. And I still feel the same way. Whatever. It makes us feel good though. Does it? Yeah, it's rewarding. People to, are watching us. To get a like? To get not a singular like, but... A couple likes. A couple likes. Hearts, digital hearts. Digital hearts, anything. Or... Comments. I think comments are my favorite. Yeah. Because then I get to like, we can do a comment back. Mm -hmm. It's dialogue. Yeah. People love that. Engagement. That's engagement. <laughs> Internet. 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 Be our friends. Hey, you heard about the internet? We can be internet friends. That's a thing. It is a thing. A I thing. have some internet friends. All right, well. Peace out. Bye, everyone. Hey, you heard about the internet? We can be internet friends. Wow. It got chaotic a little. It, yeah. Wow.